Hi, I'm David Stjernholm and this new episode of Done is about how to escape a certain kind of detrimental clutter. Technology enables us to work almost anywhere. We are less and less limited to a particular desk at a certain office to get our tasks done. But sometimes things are not working the way you want them to. For some mysterious reason, the files you have on your computer are not syncing properly with where you store them online. You have previously been able to reach the documents at work from home seamlessly, but now something has happened and you cannot access them anymore. You have asked the IT department for assistance, but haven't been helped yet. You are heading somewhere, perhaps going on a work trip, attending an external meeting, working overtime in the evening at home or something like it. And now you simply must be able to reach those documents which you are completely dependent on and need in order to do what you need to do. This is when you place them in an easily accessible location just for now. In the meantime, so you can be certain that you will be able to do what you have planned to do. You might put them on the computer desktop, attach them to an email you send to yourself, on a USB stick or in the cloud service you use privately. Since for some reason you are able to reach that service, even though the one you need simply will not cooperate. It turned out to be a good call. Everything worked out fine and now it's Monday again. After a few more days of work, you remember that the files you placed in that temporary location are still there. Since you put them there, you have been working with the same tasks, but now you're not sure which documents you have worked with and altered, and which ones you have not changed. Everything happened a bit too fast when you had to prepare for the meeting, and you might have placed the documents in multiple locations just to make absolutely sure you could access them. And didn't you make a few changes in them during that business trip a few days ago, too? And just like that, what seemed to be a smart quick fix at the time has turned into a real hassle. You have to spend time sorting out what is what and which documents you should keep working with. Time you would rather spend doing something else. This is exactly why you should set a clear expiration date on any for now solution, hence making it into an until then. If you want to avoid having for now emergency solutions getting you into trouble, then do this. As you are making an exception and placing a document in a temporary location, also decide when you will go back to the regular routine and put the document back in its ordinary place or erase it from the temporary location. Then do something to remind yourself to put everything back to normal when the state of emergency has passed. You could, for example, set an alarm on your phone to remind yourself. Book a slot in the calendar with a reminder on the day and time things will be back to normal again. You could ask the IFTTT app on your phone to remind you when you step into the office again, even if you don't know what date or time you will be back right now. You could write an email to yourself reminding you to put the documents back and schedule the email to be delivered around the time you believe you will be back. You could write an email to yourself with the updated document attached right after the meeting you needed it for, so that it will be easy for you to put it back in its rightful place. Or do something completely different that suits you even better. Because if you clearly articulate to yourself when the temporary solution expires, you will be less troubled by losing information, involuntary duplication of documents and doubts regarding which version you should be working with. Of course, in a perfect world, all syncing and connections work smoothly, but sometimes there will be issues and then we have to do what we can to make our workday as easy and smooth as possible. What trick or method do you use to make quick fixes, nothing more than temporary occurrences and not permanent problems? Write to me at david at stjernholm.com and share your clever solutions so that I can learn from it. I'm all ears and look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for listening to this week's edition of Done, and see you again next week.